Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's talk about how you can view converted leads. Let me just talk to you a little bit about what happens when you convert a lead. So let's pick Lori here. Now, Lori is a prospect, you call her, you email her, you qualify her, one way or the other, you progress her through the sales cycle, and she is now converted. When we convert the lead, we create a new account, a contact, and an opportunity. Salesforce does not delete this lead, we kind of just hide it from your users so that they don't get confused and they just now work on the account, contact, and opportunity. But there may be a time you still want to go back and see that lead record. Notice that that lead record still shows up on my recently viewed list view, okay? And I can click on it and I can go back and still see that converted lead record. It's read only right now, but I can see it. However, if I go to any other list view, any other list view at all, if I create one and say, show me all the leads that were converted, it will return nothing. Converted leads don't show up in regular list views like regular records. They do show up in the recently viewed list, so I could click on Lori and go see her record there. They also do show up in search, so I could search for her record. The account, contact, and converted lead would show up. But for most of you, most of the time, I would recommend creating a report. This is probably the best way to just see all of your converted lead information. So there's actually a report type called leads with converted lead information, and that's the one you're going to want to use. So I've just cleared out this report and we're gonna build it up from scratch. First thing I'm gonna do is adjust my filters. I don't wanna just see my leads, I wanna see all the leads. And I wanna see all the leads that were converted this week, last week, last month. I'll just say this year for, for this demo. Now we wanna add the fields to this report. So we actually have the fields from the lead record that we can add. So if you want to add things like the lead source or any other fields that were potentially having qualifying information in there, you can add those to the report if you want. So there's lead information, but there's also opportunity information. When that lead was converted, we created an opportunity. So you can have fields from that opportunity on the report as well. Same thing for the contact that was created. So you can go through and add the various fields from the lead that was converted and the new opportunity and the new contact records and basically just go through the sidebar and find anything that looks reasonable and helpful for you. Now I am going to use the power of editing here and just kind of fast forward a little bit and show you my completed report so you don't have to watch me pick and choose. Here I can see that Sue had a lead created in March, converted in May. I could click Lori's first name and go to the lead record, or I could go to the account, the contact, the opportunity, and even see how much the opportunity is for. So this is an example where it shows the three converted leads. It is just a regular report, so you could do things like group by. So group by lead owner, for example. Now I can see that Sue converted two leads, and Iman only converted one lead. And this is a regular report, so if you want to put a chart or add this to a dashboard, you're more than welcome to. But my recommendation would be, if you're trying to look at a collection of converted leads or all of your converted leads, to use a report rather than trying to use the recently viewed related list or search.